It's January 11th, and this ain't your mama's portfolio account review. <laughs> it's probably a lot smaller. Speaking of moms, by the way, uh, my mom, I helped my mom with her investment account. And I got to say, she's like the best trader of all time. She was buying Tesla the lows, like way back in 2017, 18. And then she took profits along the way, got her all of her initial investment out and just recently maybe like five six months ago or three four months ago started selling out of tesla which is like the greatest <laughs> the greatest trade ever so anyway that's just an aside good job mom uh, <laughs> so she tells me what to do and i just kind of help her i was like okay yeah that makes sense like you can't do it you can't do it she doesn't actually have the technical knowledge but all right so anyways Onto the account review. I'm going to review the accounts and any market thoughts I have. I may add them at the end or make another video about it. We'll see. So currently I'm sitting a lot higher than I was at the end of the year, which is very positive. And I'm really happy to see this little rebound. Of course, the rebound is happening market wide. Everything's rallying basically. And I think it's on the heels of the expected low inflation print tomorrow, which is yet to materialize. So we'll see if it actually happens. But Let's not delay this any longer. I'm sitting at 159,000 at the moment, which is about 30,000 more than I was at the end of last year, which is kind of crazy. It's a little bit less than 30K. So good news. I'm going to run through all. This is the old time chart, by the way. That's what you're looking at. I just happen to click on it. Uh, I started investing somewhere in 2018, August 2000. I'm sorry, August 28th, 2018. So um, this may or may not look the same in the coming months. So I'll talk about it some more later. This is the COVID crash here. And then the high was 214,000. So anyways, I'm trading along uh, minus 21% year on year. But year to date is up 16%, which is kind of crazy. But that's to be expected uh, from a leveraged account like this. All right, I'm going to run through the options and then so you can see exactly what I'm holding. A lot of my option plays that I've bought have um, yielded me zero gain. Yet again, I'm losing money from buying options instead of selling. So I'm really not good at buying options. In fact, next time I think I'm going to buy something to catch a trend, I'm going to just sell. I'm going to fade my own decision <laughs> because I could be winning so much money. Look at this. Like this is this is a low cost position. It's three hundred and fifty dollars. I went long on USO, which is um, oil fund, basically oil, and that's three hundred and fifty dollars in a couple of weeks. I mean, I didn't have to put up that much capital either. So let's see. Oh no, in a couple of weeks, a month. Okay, fine, a month. But I could just I could have just like made a credit spread, sold the credit spread and collected all that money or most of it, like 300 bucks with very little capital requirement. So anyway, I'm just going to run down here. My menu, um, Manchester United put, I bought a put on Manchester United. And that was a dumb mistake um, because, you know, they announced that uh, they're going to be selling the team or doing some financial gymnastics. And I was trying to call their bluff. I'm like, no, you're not. This Manchester United five-year chart that we're looking at over here. I'm like, you're not going to do that. No one's going to buy your team for like $7.5 billion, which is what they want to sell it at. I'm like, at most, you're going to get like 5 or $6 billion. So I started shorting the stock. Um, bought a put here. I actually bought a few puts. They expired worthless. And then I bought a longer-term put, and that's going to expire worthless. So even though I think I'm right, the timing of my play is, is not been good and so I've been just getting killed by Manchester United here so once again buying puts yields me no return and I don't know why I keep thinking that the next one's gonna do it well it just never happens so that's the situation there okay anyways running through the account here uh, you can pause the video player at any moment to try to figure out the exact position of this account um, all the information you might need is right here in these boxes. 
everything from the ticker symbol to the strike price, whether it's a put or a call, expiration date, number of contracts, and whether it's a sell or a buy. I have some leaps here that I'm holding on to the Alibaba. Now, speaking of buying stuff and losing on it, let me scroll up a little bit. JD calls I bought like way, way back in the day. Let me see if I can find out what date I bought them in. They purchased 590, so May 19th, 2022. Bought four, contra four contracts about strike price. And uh, it's negative $5,000 now. Luckily, I also sold some, but it's not nearly, I didn't counteract nearly as much by selling calls in the other direction. Let me see. Am I blind? I'm blind. Okay, here you go. So I only was able to recruit $400 of that, and that's not been a good investment either. So um, maybe longer data leaps would have worked, especially since China is gathering steam right now. But mine are expiring this January, so it's not going to work. Alibaba, I have one expiring in January 2024, so I may or may not keep that depending on how Alibaba does. And, and whether, excuse me, whether or not I need the capital, but um, there it is. I have one call left because I sold a couple other ones to meet some margin pressure. And this one's down 50% so far, but it was down like 90. So it's climbing back up. It may or may not yield me some return at the end of the whole deal. Alibaba does have the potential to go, especially now since, you know, the Chinese reopening of the economy, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. So I don't know how long it's going to run, but, um, you know, I have about $1,500 of equity in here. So I can tap into that, sell it anytime, try to bolster my cash position. Anyway, that's the leap and options. Here are the equities. Apple, I just sold out of 30 shares because it went up a little bit and trying to uh, raise some cash. Apple, I've got 700 shares left. Realty income, 442. It was up, you know, $800 today. Apple was up $2,000. So, so pretty good gains. Um, Main Street Capital, up $700. I have 970 shares. Paramount, 1,300 shares, up 0.4%, which is pretty negligible. Smith & Wesson, up 2.57%. This is huge, $2,000 up. I hope this cl keeps climbing. I want it to keep climbing all the way into March 17th because then I can push up against my call position at 12.5 and I can exit at 12.5. I just need this thing to go up. Um, you know, it's been pretty painful this last dip here from 12 and 12.4 all the way down to like 8.6. I mean, that's, that's a big loss percentage-wise, especially for me since I have so many shares. I mean, this thing is like 30% of the account at this point. Um, so anyway, I need to turn around there, at least a short-term one, so I can exit some some or all of the position. I still think the company is doing fine. I just think that the market is not um, reflecting that. And if it doesn't want to value it for the, the way I'm valuing it, I don't know if there, it makes much sense for me to stay in. I, I want to stay in. Um, it pays a nice dividend, but the thing is with Smith and Wesson, right, is they've been burning through their cash really, really fast. And one of the reasons why I went into the company in the first place is because they had a large cash position and I like to invest in companies like that, but they're burning it really fast to build out their new facilities, their new offices, um, and that cash is going away. And I don't think the earnings are able to keep up nearly as much as the project might end up costing. So they'll probably go into some debt, and I really don't like that. I don't know how many millions they're going to go in debt. I'm going to just wait and see to figure that out. But um, I'm not sure I want to stay in this company for like a really long term anymore. So I'm still debating that. I have been thinking about it for the last couple months. So that's the last equity position. I'm going to go into the account now. Investing tab here, 265700 total market value, money under management, AUM. 
margin is 40% at the moment or 80% depending on how you want to look at it. $106,000 uh, borrowed, which is less than the 118 at the end of the year. So I've been trying to raise some cash and and try to repay some of that margin debt. Total return, actually equity, Apple, Smith & Wesson, Main Street Capital, the top three in order. Total return, Apple, Realty Income, Main Street Capital, just my longest term positions. The two trading positions that I took on uh, to collect premium on have not worked out. Paramount Global is down $8,800 and Smith & Wesson is still down 23000 It was down 32000 up until not so long ago before this recent rally. So that is the investing tab. I don't know what else I can show you here. Uh, if you do have any questions about the account, please feel free to let me know. Oh, we haven't done relative comparison. I'll just do it really quickly because uh, this minute, this video is running long already. I'm just going to do my account just to show you. I'm not going to do the SP SPY. So um, one week performance, 12.39. One month in the green, 3%. Three months in the green, 9%. Year to date, big time in the green, 16%. One year is 21% down which is the only red graph at the moment, is the one-year performance. And all time, the one that matters the most, uh, up 120 now. I was down as much as 89% in the positive since I started the account, but now I'm actually up 120. So hopefully that keeps going. I want to get to you know a reasonable level before I take some of this leverage off. I don't know if it's going to happen on this one late run because, you know, we got the CPA data tomorrow. If it comes in hot, obviously the market's going to sell off big time, right? Um, Papa Paul is going to come in with his, you know, he's going to start chowing down everybody with his rhetoric about raising rates and, you know, financial conditions and all this garbage. So it just, the CPI, I guess, inflation is the name of the game right now. Just gonna wait some inflation to uh, for some inflation numbers, and see where the market takes from there. All right, I'm gonna stop right here. Probably make another video soon. I hope if I have the time. Um, that's it. Hopefully, you all did better than I did. Peace out.